to them come. Here is Bruce Lee, who's playing Cato, and Van Williams. I'll say it the Chinese way. Gorgeous. I <laughs> thank you very much. Now, Bruce, just look right into the camera lens right here and tell us your name, your age, and where you were born. My last name is Lee, Bruce Lee. I was born in San Francisco, 1940. I'm 24 right now. And you worked in uh, motion pictures in Hong Kong? Yes, uh, since I was around six years old. And when did you leave Hong Kong? 1959, when I was 18. I see. Now look over to me, Bruce, as we talk. I understand you just had a baby boy? Yeah. And uh, you've lost a little sleep over it, have you? Oh, three nights. <laughs> and tell the crew what time uh, they shoot the pictures in Hong Kong. Well, it's mostly uh, in the morning because it's kind of noisy in Hong Kong, you know, around three million people there. And so every time when you have a picture, it's mostly, say, around 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. in the morning. I see. They'd love that there. And you went to college in the United States? Yes. And what did you study? Uh, philosophy. I see. Now, you told me earlier today that karate and uh, jiu-jitsu are not the most powerful or the best forms of uh, oriental fighting. What is the most powerful or the best form? Well, <clears throat> it's bad to say the best, but uh, <laughs> in my opinion, I think Kung Fu is pretty good. Would you tell us a little bit about Kung Fu? Well, Kung Fu is originated in China. It is the ancestor of karate and <laughs> jiu-jitsu. It's more of a complete system and it's more fluid. By that I mean it's more flowing. There is continuity in movement instead of uh, one movement, two movement, and then stop. Would you look right into the camera lens and explain the principle of the glass of water as it applies to Kung Fu? Well, Kung Fu, the best example would be a glass of water. Why? Because uh, water is the softest substance in the world, but yet it can penetrate the hardest rock or anything, granite, you name it. Uh, water also is insubstantial. By that I mean you cannot grasp hold of it. You cannot punch it and hurt it. So every Kung Fu man is trying to do that. To be soft like water and flexible and adapt itself to the opponent. I see. What's the difference between a Kung Fu punch and a karate punch? Well, the karate punch is like an iron bar. Whack! A Kung Fu punch is like an iron chain with an iron ball attached to the end and it go wang and it hurt inside. Okay. Now we're going to cut and in just a second we'll uh, have you stand up and show us some Kung Fu and some movements in Kung Okay. Fu. Cut. Please. Now look directly into the camera, Bruce. Directly at it. And now give me a three-quarter this way. And hold it. And give me a profile that way, all the way. Good, hold it. Now come back to a profile on the other side. And hold that. Give me a three-quarter on that side. And then give me right into the camera again. All right, now the camera will pull back. And uh, Bruce, first show me the movements in the classical Chinese theater. Classical Chinese well, theater? Well, you know what we talked about in the office. How they walk and how they start to move. Well, in uh, Chinese opera, they have the warrior, and then the scholar. The way the, war the warrior walk will be something like this. Walking this way, straight, come out, bend, straight, and then walk out again. An ordinary scholar would be just like a female, a weakling, 90 pounds in child hours. <laughs> You'll be just walking, you know, like a girl, real, shoulder up and everything. So by the way they walk, you can immediately tell who they right, are. Right, uh, what character they are. Now, uh, show us some Kung Fu movements. Well, it is hard to show it alone, but uh, I will try to do my best. All right, maybe one of the fellas will walk in. You walk yeah, in? it would be... Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on, Come on lady. lady. Okay. There you go. Come on, lady. <laughs> Although accidents do happen, but you know... <laughs> there are various kinds of strikes. It depends on where you hit and what weapon you will be using. To the eyes, you would use fingers. Don't worry, <laughs> I will be. To the eyes, or straight at the face, from the waist, everything on. Hold it just a minute. Uh, let's move this gentleman around this way so you're doing it more into the camera. No, okay, okay, well. And then there is band arm strike using the waist again into a back fist. And uh, let's have 
have the assistant director back up this way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Continue. And then, of course, Kung Fu is very sneaky. You know, the, chi the Chinese, they always hit low. From high, go back to the groin. <laughs> Don't worry. Now turn around the other way with you, Bruce. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, uh, Would you want him? Yes. Oh, These are just natural here. reactions. That's right, right. right. That right. is right. natural. Right into the camera. Cheat into the camera a little bit and show this again. All right. Go ahead. There is the finger jab. There is the punch. There is the back fist and then low. Of course, then they use leg, straight at the groin, all come up. Or, if I can back up a little bit, they start back from here, and then come back. <laughs> all right. It's kind of worried. Uh, he, he has nothing to worry about. Now, no. once again, uh, show us uh, how, how a good Gung Fu man would very coolly handle it and walk away, rather than get involved in a series of action. Cut it. It's Sound. Okay. okay. Uh, now, Bruce, so that we can clearly see what you're doing uh, this time, uh, we'll face the fact that there's nobody there. Uh, okay. Show me now the difference between jiu-jitsu, which is long and involved, and gung fu, which is very quick if you have an opponent. All right, for instance, you will read it in the book, in the magazine and everything, that when somebody grab you, you will first do this, and then this, and then, and then, and then, and then, thousands of steps before you do a single thing. Of course, these kind of magazine would... Uh, teach you to be feared by your enemies and admired by your friends and everything. Thing. But uh, in Kung Fu, it always involves a very fast motion. Like for instance, a guy grabbing your hand. It's not the idea to do so many steps. Step him right on the instep. He'll let go. This is what we mean by simplicity. Same thing in striking and in everything. It has to be based on a very minimum motion so that everything would be directly expressed in one motion and he's gone, doing it gracefully, not to go, ah, yelling and jumping all over him, but to do it! Excuse me. Okay, okay. now show me once again just a few movements there. Well, uh, Kung Fu can be practiced uh, alone or with a partner. Uh, practicing alone, they involve forms. Some imitate a crane, a monkey, a praying mantis. This is a crane form. Start off. This is one of the movement involved. Show us one more movement and then we'll be all through. Okay. Well, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> they have the tiger that start like a tiger. Using claw to claw the face or the beak of the crane to the eyes. This is some of the movement involved. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.